It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Boeing? <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Finding the right logo that wasn't just a literal representation of its name, get it, Boeing, took some time. So in 1947, two Boeing artists set out to design a durable trademark capable of lasting for years to come. Artists Keith Kinsman and Bob Lally put together a 10-page proposal for creating a new logo that melded visibility, style, and color. Born of the emerging jet era, the Stratotype font, Boeing's swept-wing Stratojet and luxurious Stratocruiser inspired the look, as seen in these sketches from the Boeing archives. The unique typeface featured squared-off letters that resembled airplane windows. The angled letters gave an enduring sense of motion. The Stratotype alphabet and numbers were used in airplane identifiers, such as the name of the Model 377 Stratocruiser, which had its first flight in 1947. Stratotype was soon found on fuselages, in advertisements, and on ashtrays? <clears throat> the Boeing Stratotype logo flew for more than 50 years. Then, in 1997, Boeing merged with longtime competitor McDonnell Douglas. The classic Boeing Stratotype logo was updated and combined with a streamlined version of the McDonnell Douglas symbol, uniting the companies and their commercial, defense, and space businesses. Gone is the boat wing, but the name has stayed the same. From the thresholds of airplanes to the hulls of spacecraft, the Stratotype logo continues to portray the essence of the Boeing company in any language.